<laughs> She's so silly. But anyways, yes, good morning. We are getting ready for baseball. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Whoa! Are you okay? Oh my gosh! As you can tell, she's really excited for her first baseball t-ball game, and I'm excited too. She hasn't been to any of the practices though because we were in Hawaii, so she only got to go to one. But I mean, it's just t-ball, so I think it's fine as long as she has fun. Really, that's all that matters. So I have to pick up her hat and her jersey from the coach today um, because you know she wasn't there to get it. So I just gotta basically put on her baseball pants, which thankfully they still fit from last year and her glove and then I got her new sneakers at Ross right before we went on vacation I did like an Instagram haul so if you follow me on Instagram then you would have seen that um but yeah so it shouldn't really take long to get her dressed and ready do you want to show muchachos how you do the magic to get ready yeah yeah I want you to tap you want to clap okay ready watch it wow look at Alondra yeah. Whoa, you are a little slugger. You look so cute, my love. Are you ready for baseball? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you going to hit the ball? Yeah. Like are you also going to, how hard? Show me. Are you also going to catch the ball and throw the ball in? Yeah. Okay, and you're going to run super fast? Like this one. So. Whoa. So. Whoa, so fast. All right. Well, don't forget your glove. It's right here. Oh. Grab your glove. We got your shoes, and then, like I said, that's not going to be her shirt. We'll get it once we get to the field. <laughs> There's Alondra. Her first baseball game. Oh, she's so nervous. Did you have fun? You did really good hitting, baby. And you caught the ball. You have you lots of fun? Juice. Yeah, you got a juice and some snacks after the game. Uh -huh. I'm so proud of you, baby. You did awesome. You. You're welcome. Alondra actually did really good for her first game because like I said, she's only been to one practice and that was like over a week ago. So I wasn't sure how she was gonna do, but she did really, really well. She went onto the field by herself, stayed in the dugout by herself. So that's like a huge plus, especially compared hey, to last year. Cry. Nope, she didn't cry either. So that's a huge plus compared to last year because and last year, yep, last year we had a, you know, to kind of be by her side. So I'm really, really, really proud of her. And then tomorrow she has another game. So because it's fall ball, they try to cram in as many games like in the weekend as they can. So we have two games this weekend, but then next weekend is one. Also, it does tend to like getting into the rainy season. So games will cancel and like reschedule and stuff like that. And then they'll cancel again because of like the rain and such. So anyways, but I'm really proud of her. She did really good. The team is definitely unorganized. <laughs> it was so hard for Adam and I just to like sit there and be like, ah. Especially because you see the other team and the other team was so organized, but as long as she has fun, that's all that matters. That's what we keep trying to tell ourselves, as long as she has fun. But I don't know. We'll we'll see how the rest of the season goes. Yeah, you did. It's 2.17, the game's only an hour, so that's nice. It's not too 
long. And um, yeah, we're heading home. And then if you're wondering, no, Edom is not off of work. He was just able to kind of tweak his hours. That way he wouldn't miss her very first game. You're such a good daddy. Daddy of the year. Daddy of forever. Of daddy. infinity. Daddy. And beyond. It's definitely later, you guys. And I am so sorry. I feel like ever since I got back from Hawaii, I have just been so out of it it's weird i've been like very out of it but like also super laser focused on getting certain things done especially when it comes to the house like the past couple of days i have been just honestly like talking with mortgage lenders going back and forth between both of them submitting documents and statements and all that stuff that they need and then today i was talking with the builder and idam and i so i have a bit of an update for you guys because i know the last video or the i don't know how long ago i don't know what sequence these videos are going to go in either i feel like I like will start a vlog ever since we got back and then I won't finish it so I'll probably start like putting two days into one also that way I get caught up to present time like like I said like I just feel so tired and exhausted and just like still kind of jet lagged from the trip and what's like, like what is today today is Saturday and we got back like Tuesday morning at like 2 a.m. so I'm just like still really so tired and I just honestly had so much to catch up on because when we went on vacation I was like nope I'm not dealing with social media I mean I did post on Instagram stories but like I wasn't like responding to comments on YouTube I wasn't checking my emails which I had a ton to get back to like I wasn't doing any of that I was just like I'm just gonna focus on this vacation and have fun and so obviously coming back it's like whoo I got a lot to catch up on but anyway so I was talking with the builder today and he was telling me that like stuff that I need to do since we're no we're pretty sure which person we're going with we're gonna change mortgage lenders so I'm glad he called me today because he has to know 30 like you can't make any changes 30 days before closing. And I didn't realize that. I mean, I'm sure they probably told us that. I just forgot. But yeah, I didn't realize we couldn't make any changes. So he said, yeah, you can't make changes. He's like, so I'm really glad that, because I had like emailed him yesterday about like some things about possibly changing the lender. So that's why he called me today. And he's like, yeah, he's like, I'm going to need all their information and like just have them contact me. So of course the, the place is closed, like the the business or whatever so i will just email them on monday morning like first thing and be like hey i need you to like reach out to the builder that way they have all your information to change it because we're less than 60 days away like 30 days will be october 13th so we still have time today's only like september 21st but i'm still glad that i know we also need to cancel well not cancel but like let our apartment complex know like we're not renewing our lease we have to let them know by october 1st so i got a couple of stuff i need to get done but i am so excited though that we actually got all of the loan stuff figured out i mean it's not set in stone but we basically told them on friday so yesterday yes we want to lock in this rate this is the loan because we had like two different loan options to choose from and we wanted to lock in our rate so we did all of that they double checked a couple of things and so the only thing I have to get them is like the purchase agreement, which I got and I emailed that to them on Friday. And then on Monday or Tuesday, I have a bunch. She said it's going to be a ton of like documents and disclosures that I got to sign and stuff like that. But well, both of us need to sign, but I'm so excited. So I don't want to say it's official yet with the mortgage lender because things can always go wrong. I think something can always pop up last minute, but I am happy to say that we finally figured out a mortgage lender and we know which mortgage lender we want to go with and we know which loan we want to go with and we're very 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 excited about it just like oh i'm so excited like edam and i literally have just been looking at so many things like i already have like a pinterest board with like the laundry room that i want we've already like when we went to ikea we measured everything we figured out what we're gonna do i've already been looking at like like the tile i think it's called smart dials are uh, smart tiles on home depot's website like picking out which one i want looking at a barn door because i'm gonna put a barn door in the house like i've just been like looking at stuff like crazy the past couple of days and all i've been thinking about is the house and i am so excited so i don't know it just feels good that we finally have a direction we're going in so hopefully nothing goes wrong from here so anyways yeah that's basically the update um i just honestly just been kind of so busy with like still trying to get all that stuff straight like squared away and then also at the same time i've been a little bit lazy because i i just want to relax you know i'm just so tired but anyways i am rambling and my poor child is waiting for me i'm sorry baby mommy was talking too much huh yeah yeah mommy talks too much all the time huh yeah you talk too much i'm sorry baby but thank you for being so patient what are we gonna do right now cookies. we're gonna make cookies oh can you hold that yeah. That's a really big tub. 
Wow, are you excited? Yeah, we're gonna make some chocolate chip cookies. By the way, Costco has this big old tub from Toll House. Um, yeah, the yummy, yummy chocolate chip cookies. They don't have this cookie dough tub all year round, FYI. They probably have it because the holidays are coming. So if you like these big tubs, like definitely check it out from Costco. Like Christmas. Like Christmas, that's right. Christmas is coming up. To eat cookies. Oh yeah, Santa. Oh, careful! You almost fell. Yeah, that's right. Santa needs to eat cookies. And that's milk. right. And milk. You know who else needs to eat cookies? Oh. Me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, these cookies are ready for the oven. Good job, baby. You did awesome. You're such a. Oh yeah, that was a bad one, huh? Woo! That was a good one. Let's get these bad boys in the oven. Alexa, set a timer for 12 minutes. Alexa, stop. Oh, cookies. All right, let's test these bad boys out. I had to do them for like an additional, oh yeah, it's much better. Two minutes because every time I did, you know, the toothpick trick, I kept getting cookie. But toothpick is clean, can't even tell, but it is. And if you wanna make your cookies taste so freaking good, you guys need to put sea salt on top. We learned this from Pizzeria Lola because their chocolate chip cookies are like the best in the world, I swear, and they put sea salt on top, and you guys, oh, oh just so good. Try it if you haven't, I'm telling you, it's bomb. And what better way to top off the cookies than a nice glass of milk? gonna say you guys I know that the vlogs are going to be extremely choppy I don't know if I've actually already said this this past Brittany said this I don't know I'll just say it again and I'll try to like keep it saved in the brain that I've already talked about this oh yeah we're in line to get Andy's ice cream we have been craving Andy's we have not had Andy's in a long time so we're like you know what let's get some Andy's and it was so good we were gonna go after Alondra's baseball game she had another t-ball game today I think I have a little bit of footage I can just insert that in here <laughs> game the game was still unorganized and like seeing the other we played a different team today and they were super organized and I was like oh I miss it so much so honestly Iram and I were talking if she wants to do t-ball again for next season we're pretty sure that he's gonna be the coach and I'm gonna be the team mom because we got this we could totally do it so anyways we're in line for some Andes and then are we gonna did we say we we're gonna go to Home Depot yeah, we want to go to Home Depot and walk around. You guys, literally, I think I've said I this in a recent that. vlog. All we're doing and thinking about right now is the house and, like, things we want to do for the house. However, we are going to live in the house. Like, we don't want to, like, move in and just change everything completely and then what if you don't like it and then you change it again. We're not going to, like, rush into things. However, we definitely want to start looking at stuff we're excited you know we're buying a house we're super excited so there is stuff we want to change like the laundry room we're for sure gonna change like right when we move in we're also going to um like a, we're pretty sure gonna paint um the house we need to find that out actually like what color the inside is gonna be i'm pretty sure it's white and then we also want to know what kind of paint it is because we don't like the what is that called like the matte that flat matte paint. It's what our apartment has right now. It's like flat matte. And if you get like water on it, it leaves like a stain. Like you can't clean it. Like we don't like that at all. So anyways, what I was talking about before I got like totally distracted is that I feel like the vlogs are extremely choppy and or missing days, but that is honestly because like I, I'm just so tired, you guys. I am so tired and I'm so out of it. Like literally we went to her game. We got back home from her baseball game, I think like around 1.15ish, and I've literally just been sitting on the couch for like four hours doing nothing. Like sitting on the couch in my underwears, 
watching YouTube, <laughs> doing nothing, so lazy. Don't so, tell your oh yeah, don't tell us. Sorry, I wasn't in my underwear. See, so, anyways, so, so yeah, like I am just honestly so out of it. And also too, I'm trying to catch up with the vlogs, and I know that if yeah. I vlog constantly, oh, time to order. Hold on. This is the good stuff right here, y'all. Oh my god, this brownie sundae is oh, it's so good. You know, I'm got the same thing as me. It comes with pecans and cherries, but I don't like that, so I get mine plain. He gets his with everything. And what'd you get, baby girl? Vanilla and chocolate. Yeah, Alondra got the vanilla and chocolate cup. Yummy, yummy. I really like that. Yeah, you do. Yidama and I decided we really like these fridges here where you can, this one's not plugged in, but where you can like see through it so it's dark, but then it can also like be see through. I don't know. Like, I've always liked fridges like this, and Edom just told me he is sold and really likes it, so I'm excited. I'm not saying we're getting this one, but just the, the look. And then I really love this kind of like bottom chest freezer, and so does he. So we already agreed. Now we just gotta decide which one. If you have one of these kind of fridges that you can see this and then pull out here, comment down below and let us know. Clearly we are done with Home Depot. We did a lot of exploring. I don't feel like I really vlogged at all, but I was just really like in the zone. And I was just like, I want this and this and this, and we want to do this. And you know, I'm like, you need to slow your roll. Like we are not doing all of that. So it's like funny though, like, I don't know, I'm just excited. But yeah, I definitely don't want to be changing a lot of things because I really want to live in the house. I feel like that's what people say, like it can be like one of like the biggest mistakes is like you move and then you change things or remodel things before like really living in the house to see like things or whatever. I don't know if I'm making any sense. But definitely we needed to look at washer dryer and a fridge because that needs to get down. We looked at garage openers at Home Depot. Um, we looked at fans because our house is not gonna come with fans. So we looked at fans. I looked at light fixtures. <laughs> oh, that's what I said. I was like, oh yes, light fixtures. We're gonna put all light fixtures everywhere. And he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm in his head is just like cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. But we did pick out paints, which I left the paint samples in the car. But like the one that had like the best top rated quality was from Bear. And we picked, like we want a super light, light gray. Are you drawing mamas? Oh, let me see. Oh, <laughs> that is so cute. Here, let me face this way. Alondra drew Wiggles, you guys. Wiggles, look, that's you. It looks just, oh, oh, careful. It looks just like you. Excited, she's like, yeah. Her tail good. needs to be a little bit more curly, huh? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Have to what do you want, Wiggles? She probably wants a snack. No, you can't have hot Cheetos, Wiggles. Sorry. She get her treat. Yeah. But we're just out here sitting. It's like actually been really nice the past couple of days to where we're not like sweating to death. So anyways, yeah, Home Depot was definitely a success, got a lot of ideas. The only thing we couldn't find that we were looking for is smart tiles. I guess that location that we went to doesn't have smart tiles in the store, but they do sell it online. And it's basically like, it's like a sticker that looks like tiles. And that's what we want to put as like the backdrop in the laundry room. So anyways, though, but yeah, I know all I've been talking about lately is the house, but you guys, I'm just so excited. And I'm just like excited about everything in general. It's just honestly such a huge weight to finally have a mortgage lender picked out. Like that seriously was stressing me out so bad just because I was like, I don't know what to do. Like who to choose. I want the best deal, blah, blah. But I am just like, I'm so glad. Good job. But I am so glad that we waited. I'm so glad that we were going between two different ones and like really did wait it out. It was a little bit stressful because I was a little like worried about it, but I feel so much better about it now and I'm really happy with our decision. So I'm excited, you guys. I'm excited. I feel like October is going to fly by. Like tomorrow is already going to be the first day of fall. It's the end of September. And I feel like October is going to fly by and then we're going to be like closing on the house before we know it. I mean, oh, I'm just so excited. I'm. I'm really excited. How many times am I gonna say excited? I know, but I I just am. But anyways, I'm gonna end off the vlog here because honestly, nothing else is gonna happen tonight other than I need to film my plan with me. But other than that, nothing else is gonna happen. But I hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. I'm pretty sure I combined it with like yesterday's like footage Saturday, so it'll be like Saturday and Sunday. So if you guys did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye, muchachos.